Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have King Ryan Garcia. Ryan is a top challenger in two divisions, but he also is one of the hottest stars in this fight game. Then we have King Canelo Alvarez. We all know Canelo is arguably the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. He is one of the greatest of all time, the four-division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight world champion. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Ryan Garcia and Canelo Alvarez are squashing their beef. As you can see right here, King Ryan say, no amount of hate can separate our Mexican bond and Canelo. Thank you, Canelo, for all the lessons and teachings you gave me. Thank you to Canelo team for all the training you helped me with. And I'm grateful and I'm thankful from the bottom of my heart. As y'all can see, that's Ryan giving thanks to Canelo. And then I want y'all to listen to what Canelo had to tell Ryan Garcia or what he had to say about Ryan Garcia. I think in my, in my mind going says help Ryan because he's a good kid. He's a good person. You need to help them, uh, them him and, and the people around him need to help him. So I feel a little sad for him because, you know, he need to, he need to, to, to have a good person, good people around him to, to hey, Ryan, let's go, let's go. Take it easy, slow down, and then and then we see. As I can see, that's Canelo giving us, you know, his heartfelt, you know, well wishes to Ryan Garcia, and just want to see Ryan do better. You understand? Um, Canelo know he's a good kid. You understand? Canelo knew that it was Oscar De La Hoya that made Ryan Garcia, you know, turn his back on him, you know, by getting this air and lying to him about Eddie Reynoso and things of that nature. If you can see Ryan thank Eddie Reynoso at Canelo team, you understand? So, you know, Ryan Garcia is a good kid. You know what I'm saying? He is a good kid. Um, like I say, when you're that young with that much money, man, you're going to wander off. Like, if you don't have the good people around you or you're not level-headed or been through a lot or, you know what I mean? Like, it's just 25 years of age with $100 million. Like, come on, bro. Come on now. Like, I don't care who you is, what you say. At that age, you know, you go do some things. But nonetheless, you know, Ryan Garcia gave his, his, his praises and his thanks to Canelo Alvarez, which is a great thing. You understand? We all know what he said about Canelo and, and Benavidez and things like that. But, you know, that's not your business, Ryan. That's Canelo business to who he want to fight, when he want to fight, and things like that. You feel me? If you're going to be cool with Canelo, be cool with Canelo. When they ask you a question about who he should fight, should he fight him, or this, just say no comments. That's Canelo, you know, situation. You know, he's able to do what he want to do. He's the face of boxing, you know, and he'll fight him when he's ready to fight him. You know what I mean? Um, Canelo Alvarez, good-hearted good dude, bro. Good-hearted dude, regardless of what anybody says, bro. Good-hearted dude. Um, to forgive Ryan Garcia, first of all, for all of the stuff that happened, we know what Canelo said about him, right? But as a man, you know when somebody is young, you know when somebody being misled it, and you know when, when, when it's not their fault. So with Canelo, you know, stepping up to the plate, not saying him and Ryan go be, you know, on the phone, talking with each other, FaceTime and things of that nature, even though um, Canelo is somebody, you know, that could, you know, make Ryan go see, you know, sit down and, and think and listen like a Floyd Money Mayweather, somebody with that, with that stature. It's going to take somebody of that stature to have Ryan go see to sit down and listen. But still in all, Ryan go see is a grown man. He's going to do what he want to do. You understand? But to listen, to get him focused and things like that, I think somebody like a Canelo and a Floyd could do it. But we all seen what happened with the Floyd Mayweather situation and Ryan Garcia saying he feel like Floyd Mayweather trying to sabotage fight. You know, a lot of shit. But nonetheless, um, Ryan Garcia and Canelo through social media, um, you know, squashing the beef. And I like it on the simple fact of, you know, they worked together for so long. Um, Ryan Garcia, like I say, look up to Canelo Alvarez. Took a lot from Canelo Alvarez. Took a lot from Eddie Reynoso. And I just feel like when Ryan Garcia was over in that camp, he was one of the best Ryan Garcia's out there. Like, let's just be real. When Ryan Garcia was over there with Canelo Alvarez and working with Eddie Reynoso, I feel like he's one of the best Ryan Garcia's. I just feel like, like I said, um, Oscar De La Hoya had to break that up. He had to break up the, the relationship with Ryan and Canelo. Why? Because... We all know the situation with Canelo and Oscar De La Hoya, how Canelo exposed him for the things he was doing. He didn't want Ryan Garcia to, to know about him early on like that, right? But Ryan ended up finding out about him anyway. And at the time Ryan found out about him, it was too late with him in the Canelo situation because Canelo was saying, you know what, I don't want nothing to do with the kid. He's a backstabber. 
um, he went over there to, to Oscar and, you know, he chose his path. You feel me? That's why I say Canelo is a good hearted dude to forgive Ryan and let him know, look, man, no hard feelings, things of that nature. We'll never be as cool as we was, right? We'll never be as cool as we was, but at the same time, I forgive you. You're still a good kid, man. I, want, I wish nothing but the best for you, right? Hope you get yourself together and, you know, make as much money as you could in this fight game. Leave with your health and, you know, live your life the best you live your life. Take care of your kids and your family. You understand what I'm saying? As you've seen, Canelo said if Ryan Garcia is 100%, if he on his shit, he have a chance of beating Devin Haney. You understand what I'm saying? He have a good chance of beating Devin Haney. But Ryan has to be on his shit. He has to stay focused, get focused 120%. Uh, forget about everything else, the outside world, the things that you, you know, that that's most passionate to you at the moment. Focus on this one fight because it is a big fight. You feel me? You go out there, win this fight, win, lose, or draw. You can still bring light to what you bring a light to, but you still want to go out there and stay focused and grind and, and try to put your best foot forward to be victorious. Because if you are victorious against Devin Haney, it makes you that much more bigger. You become that much more bigger, and then you can shine a light on your, you know, your main causes out here that much more you understand travel around the world um probably don't get the interviews like that because you know certain people keep you off they the, the tv station talking about the things you're talking about but you still be able to share light on what you want to share light on you feel me and canelo understand that just like you know all the other a sides and the, and the big time entities in the fight game understand that but with ryan garcia and, and canelo you know squashing a little beef and things like that they could be pressure off of ryan garcia um, cause you know, when he was in tour with Canelo, they kind of messed with his head a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? They kind of messed with his head a little bit, had him off balance, had him unfocused because he felt like he messed up with a good dude. And in all reality, you did. You seen that Oscar De La Hoya was a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Bernard Hopkins, you was beefing with him a little bit, even though you said, hey, Bernard, let's squash the beef. And Bernard said, hey, we're not beefing. We don't have no beef, even though it was some beef there. You know, Bernard go make it sound good in front of the cameras. But even with the Oscar De La Hoya situation, where Ryan Garcia really want away from Golden Boy because of what Oscar is doing. Oscar only care about Oscar. That's the fact of the matter, right? Only care about filling up his, his coffins, right? Making his bank account get bigger and, you know, getting rich off the fighters. You understand? And Canelo figured that out. He left his ass. Ryan Garcia figured that out. He about to leave him. And hopefully the next superstar that come up on the um, Golden Boy figure it out. And they leave his ass as well. You understand what I'm saying? But with Canelo and, and Ryan Garcia, right, it was just sad that Ryan had to find out the hard way. Because I feel like if Ryan would have stayed over there with Canelo Camp, stayed with Eddie Reynoso, um, he would be in a way better position. Uh, well, I ain't going to say uh, mentally-wise because he's still in a good position. Mentally-wise, he would still be in a, better, a way better position. He did because he was happy over there, bro. He was happy over there, like I said, to Oscar start getting in this air and making things difficult. You did. So right now, Shouts out to Ryan Garcia. Shouts out to Canelo Alvarez. You know, mending the beef, squashing the beef. Like I said, Ryan just got to stop talking about Canelo business. Stay out of Canelo business because, you know, the, the the Internet will twist that and run with it. You feel me? They will take it and run with it. You know how the Internet do. So when you say things like, oh, I would have been fought David Benavidez and things of that nature, you know, it's like you're insinuating something, but you don't want to get caught up in that mix, especially when you're in Canelo is, is, you know, getting back cool and things like that. So, Shouts out to, to Canelo once again for, you know, sending a heartfelt message to Ryan Garcia, wishing him nothing but the best, and giving him props, saying that if he stay 120% focused, right, he'll have a chance to beat um, Devin Haney. So Ryan need to take heed to that, get focused, and go out there and do his best, man. Straight like that, and money be on to the next. Once again, shouts out to Nello and shouts out to Ryan.